and it's number 13.12. 13.12. It's the 12th example in chapter 13. What is the day's supply for the following prescription? Provental albuterol inhaler, two puffs, QID. Two puffs, two times day. So somewhere in here it's going to ask you what the directions are for the patient, and I don't think it does on this example, but we would say inhale two puffs by mouth four times a day because we're going to put the verb and we're going to put the route inhale two puffs by mouth four times a day i don't know who would try to put that in their nose but you never know so we're going to put by mouth now this 17 gram inhaler contains 200 inhalations or puffs per inhaler so if they're taking uh, two puffs four times a day, how many puffs is that total? You said two puffs per day or four puffs per day? Two puffs four oh. times a day. That's eight puffs a day, right? Yes, two times four is eight per day. So there's 200 inhalations in that inhaler and they're using eight in a day. So 200 divided by eight? 25. That's 25 days, right? Okay, now if that's if they take it the way they're supposed to, the total number divided by the maximum per day gives you the estimated day's supply. Now, if they don't need it and they don't use it, is it going to last longer? Yes. Yes, because they it might possibly last them an entire month if they don't need it or if they don't use it the way that they're supposed to sometimes this is as needed sometimes it'll say prn but in this case it doesn't they want them to use it um that whole amount so now the question is for insurance purposes could we give them two inhalers for a for a 30 day supply because we can't give them a partial inhaler we can't give them what, eight times five, 30 more puffs. It doesn't work that way. So we could give them two inhalers, but then we'd have to put a 50 day supply on there. And then the insurance company won't pay for it again until about 47 days have passed or so. Um, but some insurancers might possibly say no, only one inhaler per month. And that could be problematic if the patient can't afford to buy another $56 inhaler right before the end of the month so but does that not happen like with um inhalers when they're prn yeah that could possibly happen when they're prn because really this is still the maximum amount they would need in a day even if it's prn you can't assume that they won't need it right mm -hmm. so you're still going to put 25 days on that inhaler now in this case Sometimes they'll let them refill it. If it says 25 days, they can refill it, but they're, they're going to be getting a little more than 12 fills in a year. They'll be paying for it probably like 13 times in a year. Okay, does that make sense? But yes. they're paying a copay because the insurance is picking up the rest of the cost of the inhaler. Hopefully they don't have a, like a $25 copay. I don't know. Okay. Okay, um, 